Hi Libra, I'm Susie from the Gift Terry 2 and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 23rd of August. Week of the 23rd of August. Angel Spirit Guides for Libra, Libra, Libra. What would you like Libra to know for the week of the 23rd of August? Week of the 23rd of August. Angel Spirit Guides for Libra. What are the energies for Libra for this week of the 23rd of August? Week of the 23rd of August. Week of the 23rd of August for Libra, 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 and just pay attention to what you like Libra to know for this week. Okay, Libra, we've got Queen of Swords, bottom of the deck. Someone is throwing the baby out of the bathwater, very cold to the warmth of relationship. And they don't they wanna they wanna speak but they wanna like maybe tell some home truths. So four of pentacles, you're guarding your heart, you may be letting go of old principles, you might be investing in a future um here with somebody. Maybe you get a message that someone wants to invest in the future with you. So you're here guarding, holding the fort, paying the bills, um, you know, keeping the foundation going but if you let go and plant a seed you could have more in the future so you could be speculating like a new business something to do with the home maybe even planting a garden you know uh you you don't want to be meditating anymore you don't want to be sitting on your own anymore you've got rid of those worries in your in your mind um and you're gaining the strength to get out of your confine you're putting your energy into something else here you've got an option and you want to go and gamble it's something that like a business that gives you this success Libra it could be toward the queen of pentacles and earth sign uh, but she holds the fort so I think there's a lot to do with um the home here like the foundation of things and keeping yourself balanced and monetary stable and sexual at the same time it could be you're starting a business or on your which is something to do with the outside uh, there's two ones here so you're you're trying to you're quite stable and you've got two paths to choose from and you're waiting for a direction. You're going to literally maybe feel a bit overwhelmed this week mentally with love and something comes out of the blue to get you out of a trap, a third party situation maybe, keeping one person from finding out about the other. It's like you leave this situation, you're out and it's, the tower hits and this king of wands is here to create, to have action, to um, give passion and start of a business, the head of a business. And they want to action, action, action. So they could come out of the blue to get you out of this trap that you're in in love. This, this mental trap, it doesn't mean that it's a physical trap. It's kind of, you might have overwhelmed yourself uh, with the thought that you're trapped in a threesome situation and suddenly this king of wands this fire sign comes out or this passionate person they're very handsome and they say let's go let's take action on this um so there are two paths to take this week but you will untrap yourself within in something in love like i said you might become that queen of swords to untrap yourself from this devil here so toward something which is creative something which can make you money something which is a passion a heartfelt passion um so don't knock that tower don't not allow that tower to crumble because this king of wands is coming in and he's saying come on it's time it's time to to do your passion it's time to be passionate angel spirit guides libra 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 what do you want Libra to know about the week of the 23rd of August? 23rd of August for Libra, please. Angel Spirit Guides. Blimey, we've got so many on the floor. Let me try and get them up there. 
think there's just too many. I can't, it won't be understandable if I read all those. So I'm going to shuffle them again and ask what the angel spirit guides would like Libra to know about the week of the 23rd of April. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Again, these have fallen out. So I definitely want to tell you something. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This person could come literally out of the blue to get you out of this mental trap, to make to help you make the, this decision. It's like the tower will make the decision for you. Um, heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Um, you deserve love. You are lovable. And retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You might go away with someone at the end of this week, out of the blue. Angels, okay. Compassion, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all of the people involved, including yourself. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? See, it seems like there's, there's something being planted for the future. And it seems like you're already involved in this and you're getting the strength of, to get out. It's just that you're still hedging your bets and holding this, holding everything together. But really, you want to be guided on what path to take forward. And maybe if you keep yourself trapped in this love situation, the tower's going to come and disrupt it anyway. Um, so it's like you sort of let go of this control, like holding too tightly and guarding your heart. You just got to let go. Um, take maybe take a gamble on on one of these paths and untrap yourself. Um, so this King of Wands is here to take action with you, angels. And it might not be like the, your normal person. And it's saying soften your heart with respect to this situation. Keep an open mind. You deserve love. Heart to heart conversations, keep an open mind, forgiving and learning. This could be the one. Maybe you have to forgive someone. Untrap that heart, let go of old principles so that you can have this um, stable future with somebody. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? Libra to know. I'm leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts and dreams. Moon cycles. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalise <laughs> capitalize upon these cycles. So it seems like this timing... It's like you don't want to be on your own. You don't want to go and meditate. You've done enough of that. It's time that you take action to get out with this Leo. Let people see you. Let people be like your Leo. Um, you want to get on stage. You want to, to, to be sovereign. Okay? You're, but you're waiting to see what part to take. How do, what, how do you... See, this is this mental overwhelm. It's on its way to the Nine of Swords, which is a nightmare. So unless you untrap yourself from this love situation now, the tower will do it anyway. The king of wands is here. It could be the king of wands comes to get you out of it. And, and you have to, um, you're being led and be compassionate towards people. You can't hold the foundation for so long you have to plant seeds you have to talk to people you can't be on your own all the time you're going to have to untrap yourself if there's if you're keeping something from somebody um you might even have to move house libra but there's action there's the king of wands he's very handsome business minded catalyst for you to be a bit more passionate about what you're doing and um you're being led you're just being led so I hope I've helped you. Um, you might be going off into a little retreat with somebody. This could be the one, Libra. Take care of yourself. I'll speak to you soon. Please like, share and subscribe. Okay, thanks. Bye.